Join Kids Hat family. <laughs> Tofu, what are you doing? Uh, cleaning. No, you're not. You're just piling up the glasses and making a tower out of them. Uh, okay. I don't understand why we must do all the cleaning. Oh dear, stop being so lazy, Tofu. I am not being lazy. I just think that it is not my job to be cleaning. I don't want to get dirty again. You know, you sound like the lazy girl. The who? Once upon a time, there lived an old couple. They had two daughters, one each from their previous marriages. But the woman behaved terribly with her husband's daughter. One day, she threw her out of the house. Get out of this house! Go find a wealthy man and find some work in his house. Don't come back till you have earned some money. And so the girl took off. As she walked, she came upon an old dried tree. Girl, where are you going? I am going to look for a wealthy house to work in and earn some money. Okay, but before you go, can you please take off the dry twigs from me? The girl agreed and spent a long time carefully cleaning the tree of its dried sticks and twigs. Once she was done, she continued her journey. As she walked on, she came upon a vineyard. An old wine called out to her. Girl, where are you going? Can you help me? I am going to look for a wealthy house to work in and earn some money. But yes, I surely can help you before I go. She carefully cleaned the vineyard and helped the old vine. Once she was done, she continued her journey. As she walked on, she saw a broken mud oven. Young girl, what are you doing here? I am on my way for work and earn some money. Before you go, will you help me? The girl agreed and set to work. She cleaned the area around the oven, got some mud ready and fixed the oven as good as new. As she did that, she got mud and dirt all over her, but she didn't mind. Once she was done, she set on her way. As she walked, she came upon an old well. The well called out to her. Hello girl, where are you going? 
I am going in search for work. Work, is it? Okay. Before you go, can you please take out my water and clean me up? The girl happily agreed. She tirelessly emptied the well and cleaned it. Once she was done, she went back on the road. As she walked, a dirty little dog approached her. Help! Can you please help me? I am very dirty. Will you give me a bath, please? Yes, why not? The girl washed the dog and patiently cut its hair. Then she went ahead in search of work. As she walked, she came upon a beautiful house. It belonged to the fairies. She went inside. a place to stay for the night. Can I please stay here? I will leave in the morning. Where are you going? I am going in search of work. If you want to work, then you can work here for a year. You can keep our house clean. It has seven rooms. You will have to clean six of them, but you must never enter the seventh one. The girl agreed. For a whole year, she worked in the fairy's home and did exactly as they told. At the end of the year, she wanted to go home. I want to go back to my village to my parents' house. Okay, but first follow me. She took her to a room full of silver and gold coins. You should sleep here on these silver and gold coins. The coins that get stuck on you will belong to you and you can take them with you. The girl did as told. She spent the night sleeping over the coins. Many gold and silver coins got stuck to her body. When morning came, she said her goodbyes and left for her home. she was walking, the little dog that she had helped came to her. Come on with me. Come, come with me. The girl went with it. The dog took her to a place with piles of diamonds and pearls. Take as much as you want. The girl took as much as she wanted and left. As she walked, she reached the well that she had cleaned. 
Come girl, you must be thirsty. Have some of my water. Uh, thank you very much. I am very thirsty. The girl satisfied her thirst and walked on. She reached the mud oven that she had fixed. She saw many delicious foods there. The oven offered her to eat whatever she wanted. She ate some and packed some for the rest of her journey. She walked on ahead. Then she reached the vineyard. Dear girl, come have some wine. The girl drank some delicious wine. And walked on towards her home. She now came upon the tree. It was full of delicious fruits. Hello again, dear girl. Here, you can take as much fruit as you want. The girl ate some delicious fruits and packed some to take home with her. Then she got on her way again. Soon she reached home. The house rooster saw her coming and called out. The mistress is home. Look how much golden gems she's brought with her. This made the mother very angry. What nonsense! This is nothing. Now wait and see how much my daughter will earn. The mother now sent her own daughter to find work and earn a lot of money. The girl started her journey and soon came upon the tree which was once again dry. Girl, where are you going? I am going to look for a wealthy house to work in and earn some money. Okay, but before you go, can you please take off the dry twigs from me? No, I don't want to spoil my soft pretty hands. Picking the dry sticks of you? The girl walked on and came upon the vineyard. The old wine called out to her. Girl, where are you going? Can you help me? I have to go find work and earn money. I have no time to help you. The girl once again went on her way till she came upon the broken mud oven. Dear girl, can you please help me? I don't want to get dirty in the mud. I can't help you. And again, the girl refused to help and moved on. She now approached the well. I need help. Can you please clean me? I have to go and find work. Cleaning you will tire me and I don't want to get tired. The girl hurried away from the well. As she did so, the little dirty dog approached her. I've become so dirty. Can you please give me a bath and do something about my hair, please? Ah, no. If I touch you, I will become dirty. Look at those dirty flies in your hair. And so the girl ignored the dog's plea and went on her way. 
After some time, she came upon the fairy's house. She went in. I need a place to stay for the night. Can I stay here? Where are you going? I am going in search of work. If you want, you can work here for a year. There are seven rooms in this house. You will have to clean six of them. And you must never, never enter the seventh room. The girl agreed and started working for the fairies. For a few days, she did as told. But one day, she decided to sneak into the seventh room. The room was dark. But she went in anyway. As soon as she entered it, the door closed behind her. And bugs and insects of a variety attacked and bit her everywhere. She ran out of the room hurt and bleeding. I told you never to enter the seventh room. I will not stay here another moment. I am leaving. The girl took to the road running. Her head dirty, hands, legs and face bleeding and bruised. She came upon the little dog and asked for help. Please help me. You never helped me. Why should I help you now? The dog barked at her and chased her away. She ran till she reached the old well. She was thirsty with all the running. She quickly tried to reach in for a cup of water. But the well took away all its waters. When I asked you for help, you refused. I cannot help you now. Go away. Disappointed, the girl went back on the road. She kept walking on till she saw the mud oven. Delicious and tempting foods lay over. Hungry, the little girl reached out to one of the pies to eat it. But the oven started throwing flames out and the girl couldn't reach the food. You refused to help me when I needed your help. I will not help you now. Go away! The girl continued her journey home. She was very thirsty, hungry and tired. She reached the vineyard hoping she will get some wine. She reached out. But the old vine did not let her touch anything. The girl was forced to leave the vineyard and go on. She now reached the tree. It was full of delicious yummy fruits. She tried to pluck one. Hold it. You didn't want to spoil your hands when I needed your help. You cannot have any of my fruits now. Go away. The girl walked to her home. As she approached the house, the rooster saw her. The mistress has come home covered in blood and dirt. What? How is that possible? The woman saw her beloved daughter in her poor state. 
she turned to her husband. I agree, my daughter didn't earn any money. Your daughter earned everything. But the man was so upset with the woman's terrible behavior towards his daughter that he threw her and her lazy daughter out of his house. Hmm, I get a feeling that being lazy can be fun for now but bad for later. I wonder what made you change your mind, Tofu? Well, let's just say all this work around here. Join Kids Hat family. You were so brave. Thanks, Tofu. Will you please take care of the bird while I go and change? Yes. Did you save this little bird, young man? Yes, I did. That's very good of you. You are a brave boy. While we take care of the little bird, can I tell you all a little story? Yes, we, we want, want a story. story. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess. One day, her mother the queen told her that she had fixed her marriage with a prince. The son of our friend, King of Shazam, is a wonderful prince. You will be very happy with him. You must leave for Shazam immediately to meet the king and the prince. Take your maid with you and take this handkerchief. Anytime you feel confused, Keep it close to your heart and you will know what to do. Yes, mother. The princess set forth for her journey with her maid. But on the way, the maid changed her behavior entirely. I refuse to serve you anymore. Now onward, you will be my maid and I will be the princess. And if you tell anyone about this, you will be cursed. Give me your clothes and possessions right now. The princess was gentle hearted and so she agreed. As tears rolled down her cheeks, she wiped them with her mother's handkerchief. Suddenly, it spoke to her. If the queen were to know of the maid's behavior, she would be heartbroken. Hence, the princess decided never to tell anyone about her true identity and went along as a maid to Shazam. When they reached Shazam, the maid decided to get rid of the princess. I do not need my maid anymore. You can assign her some other job. The minister assigned the princess to work on a geese farm with a man named Kurtkin. It was her job to take care of the geese. The princess learned everything about her job and became a very good goose girl. 
One day, Curdken and the princess got into a fight. And Curdken went to complain about her to the king. I do not wish to keep the goose girl. She is horrible and strange things happen around her all the time. Is that so? Let me investigate this matter myself. The king started following the princess. He noticed that she was a sincere and sweet girl and there was nothing wrong with her. He also thought there was extreme sadness about her, so he decided to talk to her. Dear girl, is there a secret close to your heart? Yes, your majesty, there is. But alas, I cannot share it with anyone because no one should know about it. Why don't you tell it to the big boulder over there? It can't tell anyone anything. The girl agreed and told the boulder everything. She didn't know that the king was hiding behind the boulder and heard everything. The next day, the king went to the court and summoned the maid and told her the story of the princess and the maid and asked her, What punishment would be fit for such a maid? The maid did not realize that it was her own story and came up with the hardest punishment. Such a person should be flogged and sent away from the kingdom forever, your majesty. Correct. Guards, take this imposter away. She has been living amongst us as a princess, while the real princess has been toiling as a goose girl. Flog this liar and banish her from the kingdom. The guards immediately grabbed the maid and took her away. That night, the king threw a gala ball and celebrated the real princess as his son's wife-to-be. That is a very good story. Thank you. What do you think, Tofu? Uh, you are right, dear. People who take up another person's identity are wrong. I'm sorry, everyone. I lied to you all. It was Tia who saved the little bird, not me. Thank you for telling the truth, Tofu. Yes, thank you for telling the truth. It was very brave of you. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Heart family. Subscribe here.